Oh, I forgot to mention the other half of Steve's video, which I think I am actually going to jump on because I've been, I've been thinking about this already, which is NaNoWriMo and um, what, uh, what gets referred to as Preptober um, by uh, the NaNoWriMo people and, and by Steve, which is the idea of use October to kind of plan out, generate plans, outlines various things of what to what what story to write for when we get to national novel writing month and i've been going back and forth whether i want to do it or not which is what i usually do but i thought i'd just hit record right now and say yes i am gonna do preptober as well preptober and then nanowrimo and um because at the moment i am reading alan mendelson out loud on this channel um i was thinking about doing some sort of um young guy um maybe not as young well maybe as young as alan mendelson and leonard niebel kind of story of uh imagining kind of my own my own um teenage teenage years with my friends and just imagining a story with them whether it's um with sort of sort of a fantasy or science well, not science fiction but probably kind of a fantasy element of doing kind of a story in there of doing you know um like dr sleep underneath the lake dr sax under the lake the Ogopogo, that kind of a story. Um, something, something there. Yeah, something like set in the Okanagan. Of course, that's where I did my last story last month, didn't, last time, didn't I? Mm, it's interesting. I've, I've circled back around to that because I did sort of a, uh, a thing. Uh, that was my last story. Mm. I'm interesting why I've, I, I, I circled back to that. Well, I'll think about that because I don't know if I want to go very deep into that again because I don't know if that's what got me stuck at the end. Well, <laughs> see, I, I, I'm Steve's request was, you know, maybe for this weekend, come up with just the basic, a very basic idea and then use that kind of work on that basic idea throughout the month of October uh, and come up with um, something, come, some kind of um, some kind of scaffolding upon which then to hang uh, the days of, of November of writing. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. That's my thought, that's my thought. And I think I will do a gentle NaNoWriMo that way. I don't need to kill myself over it, but that's my thought, is to do a gentle NaNoWriMo with a gentle story, um, but a story nevertheless. Something, something with some young guys, maybe a young woman, um, doing something against some guy, some, some creature of the woods, some fellow who kind of drifts in and out of the woods in some sort of way. I don't know. I have to think about that. Not a Sasquatch, more of just somebody who's of the woods, but not of the woods. I don't know. I'll think of that. Yeah, yeah, so I I don't have any ideas to start off with, but I will let things drift in and out of my mind and we'll see what I have tomorrow and I'll just keep on keep on speaking out things and and if things come to my mind, I'll press record and I'll let you know. Yeah. Yeah. So not the greatest start to my preptober. I don't, apparently don't have an idea. At least I, I think I got derailed by the idea of like, oh crap, I'm trying to tell the same story I did last time. And I don't think I want to do that. But then again, I'll just sort of, I, you know, a part of this is not to be too judgy. Just 
pull pull out ideas at the moment. Just pull out ideas and see what comes out. Uh, and what what just sort of activates my mind. What activates what like what gets me excited. That's the thing. What's going to excite me? What's going to be fun? Because I think you know what I'm not going to try and write the great Canadian novel or the great American novel or the great Zimbabwean novel. I'm just going to try and write a fun fun fantasy novel. Yeah. Yeah, a fun fantasy novel is my thought. I guess urban fantasy again. I don't know why I always want to urban fantasy it up in my stuff. I could do a John Carter of Mars story. Well, not John Carter of Mars, but something with the 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 uh, the, the uh, serial numbers filed off. I guess. Nah. That wouldn't be, that doesn't actually sound like that much fun. I don't want to really play in somebody else's world as much as I want to create and live in my own world. <laughs> my own little world. Yes. Okay. I'm going to stop because I am babbling. <laughs>